Hey, babe. Hey, babe. The straw. Yeah. What don't you like about the straw? It might already be because uh, I, I'm a little hot right now because I have the heat pad on. Yeah, which, by the way, I noticed just recently that that's not a part of your outfit that's a hot pack that you have that smells like tea on your shoulders so i thought the shirt that you were wearing just came custom with a type of tarp no, on the shoulders no you know what it is i've been putting in a lot of good sleeping hours lately and when i go hard with the sleep i usually pull something now you are a guy and and with the sleep apnea mask which i am going for a sleep test hopefully in the next two weeks and i can also have a sleep apnea mask and then if i also get the sleep apnea mask we will do an episode with the masks on oh. <laughs> we should and then we, we we go on the road together. We'll have dueling. We got to make sure there's an abundance of outlets. Yeah, because you actually, when every time you travel on the road, you have you have an own your own compartment for the sleep apnea <laughs> equipment. I think it is the worst thing in the world. Right. So I can't fall asleep without it, and even if I do, it's bad sleep, and then the next day I'm liable to crash my car. So this is a long time I've been doing this. But right. you gotta understand, is I take like I don't like people take for granted sleep, but like if I even have to go somewhere just overnight, yeah, I gotta pack equipment. Equipment. And then when it's time to go to bed, and you, by the way, when it's time to go to bed, you're usually tired. And right. if you don't set it up ahead of time, you're like dead tired, and you gotta get up, and then you gotta like unpack the equipment, <laughs> that sucks. set it up, and like and then put it on. But once it's on, it's no big deal. But let me ask you a question. You, you, um, uh, two, I have two, I have two prong questions. I have two questions after I just tell you, I want to look into the camera. This is my camera and say, I absolutely support the environment. I've done jokes about this, but the paper straws absolutely suck. I, I, as you can see, drank 75% of my ice coffee. I still have a healthy amount left and I can get no liquid out of the straw now because yeah. it's paper and it sucks and there needs to be another option until then yeah. i'll kill the turtles i understand that what people need to do though is if you're going to take it seriously you got to we got to why has no one researched a paper straw with a little clear coat on it or something i have no idea Just something like you know in, in christmas vacation i think clark griswold okay. he made like a protect Shout out clark griswold, Shout out clark griswold. <laughs> he made a protectant for the cereal that i think that's what he did at his job where I could be mistaking this, but I think that he made a protectant so that the cereal doesn't get soggy in milk, and there was a coating on it. Okay. Just do it with the goddamn straw. Just do it with the straw. I you know? I agree. Yeah, what was Clark Griswold's job for the cereal? Okay, well, we'll find it. Um, uh, never. Um, but um, it's true. They, they, they get limp in like five minutes, and I mean- is it that big an issue to make the yeah. paper straw that works? I want to tell you something now, and I think it's something that you may not know. In addition to not eating pork chops, never seeing the movie The Godfather, never having goat cheese, I've also never seen the movie A Christmas Story. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it. And My it's favorite on, movie of all time. It's on for 24 hours a day every Christmas, and I've never seen and it. I not a second of all it. All 24 hours is on in my house for as, as long as they've done it. Interesting. Like a decade at least. Like every time it comes on... It's on 24-7. My family gets annoyed with me. Right. But for me, it's like, I don't want to see anything else. Babe, you know and what? I don't have to watch it. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to, can I lay this on this table like this, or is that no good? Because no, it does yeah. have coffee at the end of the truck. Yeah, Just throw a little tequila in, oh, in the coffee oh, for me. Oh, oh, oh. When I drink tequila, <laughs> baby, I still need you. <laughs> I don't even know that song. You don't know that song? I know Tennessee you don't know Whiskey. Dan and Shay? Oh, I you do know. know Shay. Dan and Shay. Hey, I know Shay. I know Shay. Shout out Shay. Shout out, Shay. <laughs> when I drink, drink tequila, no, I know it. baby, I still need you singing in the hall. I know the they have massive hits. I do. I just yeah. you know what it is? They, that doesn't get radio play. Oh, I don't listen to the radio. That's why I don't even know if they Wow. Play. Yeah. Know, hey, hey, babe. babe. Yeah. I know. And also, this is like a good tequila. You really shouldn't drink it in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in the a coffee. But you know what? Who cares? Who gives a f***? Wait, the, rules. The, the, the I know that this may be timely. Who knows when this is coming out? But you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. The Secretary of Defense of the Nation of Israel, a top Western nation. Well, I don't know if they're a Western nation, but the 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 Jew, the, the, the head Jewish nation yeah. just said that the, the aliens exist and there's a galactic federation that has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are. This is coming from Haim Hashid, who is the former head of the space program for who? the nation of Israel. Who so if from? I could put a little tequila in my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to... Hey, babe. babe. Yes. Because hey, we babe. all knew, we all knew, we're doomed. Are we doomed? No, this is a good sign. <laughs> no, uh, Is okay. it a good sign that they uh, haven't destroyed us? According to NBC News. You told me this right before we hit record. Yeah. And I almost shit my pants. Yeah, yeah. But I know. Is this a this is a reliable source? This is NBC News. 
Sure, this but Chuck Scarborough works no, for NBC. But they're gonna report, wait, this, I'm just, I, you got to take it off. It's By the way, it smells like tea, this thing. It smells delightful, and yeah. I got it at a mom-and-pop shop. It weighs like 10 pounds, too. It really. <laughs> There's not a person in this world who spent more money at mom-and-pop and thrift stores than Sal. I know. It's You, you support your local mom-and-pop. Oh, yeah, and it does. Pop. It smells like a, like a ginger tea yeah, with turmeric. I, I, I just pull, hey, hey, babe. babe. Sleeping. <laughs> I used to be a physical therapist. I can help you out. I know. I know. What I would tell you to do for right now. Are you rusty? Do you forget shit? Are you like, oh shit, that's called the, uh, <laughs> you know, no. like, are you like. Well, you know what the thing is? I am rusty and there have been multiple times where somebody has asked me for advice and I've confidently gave them advice and, and told them the wrong thing to do. You, you did But that. because it sounds why, so. Why did you do that? Did you not feel guilty? I did, for example. What, what, why, what made you feel like you couldn't tell them, I don't know? Well, no, no. Well, no. The thing is, I did tell the because I, I was confident in the moment that what I was telling them was correct, and I texted them then after and said everything I told you to do, just do the opposite. For example, and I can mention the show. He's fine with it. Great friend of the show. Uh, I do a podcast with him. The great Giannis Papas sure. had an elbow injury. Yeah, and I told him, <laughs> and I told Giannis what he had was was something called tennis elbow. Right. Which is lateral epicondylitis, but what he actually had was little league elbow, which is medial epicondylitis. So I gave him the exact wrong movement to do because it's the exact opposite side Does of the elbow. Does he know this now? The differences between little league elbow and tennis elbow have been debated for years. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of little league elbow. Is that pitchers or just kids throwing a ball when they're not developed yet? Right. Little league elbow, but it's the medial medial epicondylitis. So medial means the middle of the, of the elbow. Yeah. And tennis elbow or... Or is lateral epicondylitis, also called nursemaid's elbow. I've never heard of that. Yeah, because, Nursemaid? Yeah, because they would pull children. What type of antiquated thing is that? What's a nursemaid? A nurse, yeah, it's, it's old school stuff. Don't when, tell me they used to be nurses and maids Well, nursemaid, together. when they would pull, they would pull children quickly and they would f*** their elbows up. Hey, babe. They would, hey, babe, their elbows up. Yeah. Wait, so, you're telling me nursemaid elbow yeah. is not something that people with the nursemaid profession got. No, no. It's something that children got because people... That had a nursemaid profession abused physically abused no, 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 the no. child. You as the adult, you could you could be the you could get nursemaid's elbow never being a nursemaid, and you could also get tennis elbow never playing tennis, and you get literally elbow right now <laughs> even though you're a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like you just like why don't they call it for like over fifteen? They call it major league baseball major, elbow. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine <laughs> you go to a doctor and he says, "Well, what you have is little league elbow," yeah, and you I'd have to like, go. Bro, <laughs> you have to go home to your family. I'm in the farm systems right yeah. now. No, so, but but what is what is a nursemaid? Just what is a nursemaid? A nursemaid is someone who's employed to care for young children. Oh, really? Yeah, like a like a. Well, pick a, well, pick a name and go with it. That's what I say. I, I mean, are they a maid? Well, now we call them, I guess, a pair, name? right? Or oh, is that what it is? I mean, yeah, oh, no, here, like a nursemaid, nanny? a woman or girl employed to look at. By the way, so they should nanny. They should nanny, but they should they should update this to they should update this to. Um, uh, a cisgender person, a, a, a cisgendered woman employed to look after... No, how would they say this right? Because right now it says a woman or a girl employed to look after a young child or children. They're assuming that a woman is biologically born as a woman and has to be that to employ... To be employment of this. So I just want to clarify. I don't know the exact thing what to say. I got one say. better for you. What if a male wanted to look after children? That's what I'm What's saying. What's he called? Or yeah. Nurse... Nurse, uh, nur nurse, 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 dude. Well, nanny. Uh, well, the guy could be a nanny. The, the guy, guy could be a nanny. Nanny indicate gender? No, it shouldn't, but it might. If I was a nanny and I had nanny friends, because you know how like dog, there's like a there's like a circuit of nannies. Like you ever see? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they all know each other, they refer yeah, each yeah. other. And like if I was like a nanny, I would start like a podcast with my other nanny friends, like and and talk about all the things people don't know, like the they call well, yeah. it shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So, trademark that. Pimp, if you could trademark that right now, get the lawyers. My question to you is, Sal, I told you I had a two-pronged question that I want to ask you about sleep apnea. And also, if you can mark this, Pimp, I also want to have a question about the aliens. So the first question, let's do the question about the aliens first. When the aliens, because now we are being pretty much told that they are here, and I think that the only way, I think that we're a very divided nation for many different reasons right now, and the only way to unify us, the world, is to have a common enemy, which might right. be the aliens. I understand that. So, so, that's, so, so that's my hunch there. But secondly- But they're listening also. They are. They're listening. So just to keep what you say here. It's going to be- know, I don't know if they get our humor. 
Do right. they get our like? Well, no, no. From what, what does fr- this man say? What did he say? He says that they're among us right now. It's not like they're walking the earth. They're in. Yeah. They're in. Br- inbred Actually, in society. He's saying here that the, they're on government contract to do experiments on us, and Trump knows it and almost blew the secret. Right. I mean, and well, there's well, a, and there's, this and guy it, is saying Trump almost blew the secret, and he's blowing the whole secret. Yeah, because well, because if you go down, he's saying he's saying, look, five years ago, if I would have come out in public and say this, I'd be put in a mental institution. But now, because the the public pretty much knows what I'm saying is most likely true, I feel as if I can say it because we are very close to the aliens accepting that we are ready to listen to this. So, and he's that's right. If I said 15 years ago this, you'd be like, no way, you're crazy. But now you actually believe well, that this, this could year, be true. Every like few weeks, they were like, yeah, aliens are around. Yeah. around aliens are around. So, because because in other words, when 15 years ago, I would say most likely there are no aliens, and you got to be crazy. But now you ask a normal person, they'll say, of course there are aliens. We just don't you, know yet. You know, I think you're right. As a society, we are not only in agreement, but like in a weird acceptance of it. Where it was always like this big mystery. And if you were conspiracy theorist, if you thought that there might be with the Roswell and the area, right. but now it's like there's just there's just footage of it. It's every obvious. Week. It's like the the, U, the UFO clip of the week comes out. So my question to you is: When aliens, when they finally do come out and say, do 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 they have gender? Are there gender identity politics with aliens? Wow. Because I want to be forward. I'm a very forward person, a very progressive person. I want to know. Do I, so, There's no so, way for me to so know. They're, so they're, it's safe to say then that they are, they are light years ahead of us in whatever they're doing. Because they've been able to keep themselves from right. our, 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 our world at large. Everything is government, like everything is right. sealed. So they have to be more advanced than us. Yes. Which I think the age old question, and you see it in movies, is if they come, are they going to be hostile? Are they not? And I, I got to say, this is probably a good sign that we have not been at well, war or demolished by them. Ac- far. According to Chaim Ashed, who is the. Who is the how, is, do you, how do you know how to do that? Chaim. H A I M in Hebrew is Chaim. Chaim Ashed is his name. But you know that? Yeah. I'm not even. I'm not even like being a. I'm dead. No, his I know, name I know, is Hey Machet. You're, you're you're nailing it. Yeah, <laughs> but I would have read that and I would have said, you know, uh, you know, Hey Hey Machet. Like there's a band. There's a band. I don't girls, like, I love their music. It's it's H A I M, but it's Chaim is the name. Chaim. 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 And one of my, yeah, one of my friends, one of my friends used to date one of the girls, and uh, and and um, I'll tell you off camera who it is. You know him, and 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 he used to date one of the girls, and he said that it's their 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 group is pronounced Chaim. Chim. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I got it loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Chim, Chim Ashed. I'm taking a guess, almost, by the way. It, it could almost, be way off. <laughs> I'm just trying to confidently say it, it like it, I said literally. It, is, it is um wild when you're not used to the dialects. Like right. that when you when you say his name, you're flowing, and then you say his name, it's almost like a speed bump. It's a speed bump. You, yeah. you your whole body stops. You say his name, and then you can. Like I have to be like, well, according to him, a shed, right. and then I could go you back. You could be speaking a mile a minute. You'll be coked up, and you probably be a, according. Blah, 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 blah. Came a shed, and then you keep going. He's, yeah, he's like a, a, a literary speed bump. Yeah, I know. I was listening to to another thing um, today about uh, a, a Chinese executive was talking about something about Donald Trump, and he was talking in Chinese. But then, like when he said "God to Donald Trump," he'd be like, you know, yeah. Donald Trump. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. so it's it's an interesting interesting thing. Um, so so you remember when Bloomberg used to do like half oh the report with the Spanish? Spanish? I did you admire that? Or, it was it, one of the funniest it, things it, I've it ever was, heard in my life. Funniest but he was doing that. He was really okay. What percentage of him was doing that to connect, relate, and 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 be progressive with the the Latino and Spanish communities that we have, especially an abundance of New York? And what was that? What part of that was like? I'm flexing and I'm taking a Spanish class <laughs> and you, because his his also his enunciation was very much yeah. junior in high school when you're like yo necesito un tambien. <laughs> let's, let's, let's listen to uh, sobre el hurricane. Let's listen to him rip into it. Yamando, Tres once o visitando al NAYC punto G O V. Es probable que veamos nuevas y viejas algunas áreas pueden ser inundadas. It sounds like it sounds like he's just reading the words, right? But he has no idea what they mean. Like someone yeah. typed out, and he was like, "Exactly, like like La Biblioteca, like yeah, Ombre. Yo, yo Tango, Michael Bloomberg, <laughs> yeah." yeah. 
Yeah, no, it, and it's funny. As soon as as soon as when Pim put in Mayor Bloomberg speaking, Spanish came up right away. Yeah, because I mean, people laugh at this all he day. He had to do like some serious addressing uh -huh. sometimes. Sometimes it'd be like a poignant moment or something that he was addressing that was a right. more serious subject matter. Yeah, and then just launch into <laughs> yeah, like you know, nosotros vosotros. No, so, yeah, which yeah, I I. So, yeah, I don't know. I miss, Sometimes I miss Mayor Bloomberg. The only thing that I didn't like you about You think May he did a good job? I mean, he tried to, like, tell people, like, I, I'll tell you the takeaways of Louis. I'm not into politics like you, yeah. per se, and I'm not, not, like, as steeped in it. Right. So, like, my takeaways from things, like, his whole term, I remember, like, that, one of the most... He yeah. thinks, like, I'm like, Bloomberg, yeah, spoke Spanish, tried to keep people from buying big gulps. That's, yeah, that's what I remember. What, no, seriously. That's, like, his legacy. If you told me, 100%, if you told me that, I would say, yeah, he ba tried to ban sodas and spoke Spanish like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'd say. By the way, great socks today. Who is this on the sock? That, this is uh, this is a uh, will. This is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh wow, fantastic yeah. socks! I'll tell, I'll tell you right now, first uh, maybe first time I've ever wearing them. Ever wearing them? Perfect. You know who sent it to me? Stance. Yes. Stance, best sock no, company. They didn't send it to me. That's who this is. You know who sent me these? Who? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Are you serious? I swear to Christ. Oh, because he, because of Jaden Smith? No, thing? I don't know him. I didn't know him at the time. Oh, wait, maybe he knew who I was. But I got a box, and it was the Will Smith, the Fresh Prince for Jordan 5s, and these socks. From Will Smith it himself. Said, to Sal, like, enjoy, like, and it said, like, you know, from, like, Will Smith. But I had a friend who was working for his uh, production company, I think. I have a couple of friends. J.F. Harris comic. Shout out J.F. Harris. He was working, and he's like, "I'm, I'm, I'm doing some writing for Will Smith." And he goes, uh, "He goes, he has some stuff for staff. I'm going to see if you, if I could get you some." And I'm like, "Sure." And then I got a package from Will Smith. No, dude, it's uh, they're great socks and great. Do you still have those kicks or no? The Will Smiths? Yeah, I got them. Do you I wear them or no? I, I'm not a white shoe guy, uh, right. especially a high top chunky white shoe guy. Right. I already do you not wear the white shoes because of the privilege. I have a <laughs> 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 yeah. I just don't want to. I, I don't. I, I don't want to whitewash my you know my entire album. Right. No. Um. But no. I, I just I don't have the body for it. My feet. I disagree, my feet go, Sal. My, my feet go out, and it, I just look like I'm I'm wearing these two big like the white. It calls too much attention to right. the motion and the shape of my foot. Right. I told you because you said you were keto, and when you were 30 to 40 pounds lighter, I didn't like you like that. I like the Sal like this. You I, look healthier, and you feel more like Sal like this. You're a sweet kid, and you're a good friend, and you're smart, and you're educated, and I appreciate that opinion, but I will take 40 pounds lighter any day. You want day. 40 pounds? Uh, Fair enough. That's what happened with keto. Like, I'll, I'll do it, but then what happens? Here's a danger of keto. Yeah. If you're not keto strict. Keto dangers. Go, go, shout out keto. If you're yeah. not strict, um, you're doing high fat- very low carb, right? Right. Um, and some protein, but mostly fat and uh, saturated, like high in fat. And then if you deviate and you're like, oh, I did keto all day, but then you just have a slice of cake, the keto <laughs> is done. Your body goes out of ketosis. Because now you ate, yes, that, but also now you ate sugar and a ton of fat. And it's, it's just like you, you, you have to be strict one way. But once you start dabbling in the sugar and mixing it with keto, now you're just eating bad. Got it. So right, enough, I mean, I understand yeah, the carbs and sugar fine, but like you know, you know, keto. Some people question if keto is healthy as it stands, right? Because it's like just you know, but it right. does it, it does one thing one way, but the second, yeah, if you risk okay, could cause keto diet could cause low blood, blow blood, low. Holy Here shit. we go. It's keto First diet. Sip of tequils. Yeah. Low blood pressure, kidney stones, constipation, nutrient deficiencies, and an increased risk of heart disease. But you will be ripped. But you'll be ripped. Yeah, so that's the difference. So if you want to get ripped, you could do keto, but understand, kids. The minute you bite into a cupcake, which I did, a red velvet that came from a friend of a friend's wife. Do you, you have them right here today? I, I had one. It wasn't that good. I threw out the other one after watching. I'm sorry. Sorry about this. You know, I threw out one yeah. of your cupcakes. It was it was like, uh, if I'm being honest, if they're watching, I don't know. It was good, but it wasn't worth it. You know what it could have used? Yeah. Saratoga peanut butter. That's Not a right. sponsor, but <laughs> just want to give a shout out. Mom pop shop, maybe one day, <laughs> maybe they throw some all away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Might we had this is like you killed Kenny for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It comes up once every episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it, yeah. So no, no. no. So, so. Hey, we, babe. What we? Uh, what, keto uh, and aliens. Yeah, keto and aliens. You think alien? You think this, you think that? Okay, the aliens. Right. How 
how how parallel are they to our society? You think he got a chunky alien on a diet? Uh, that's see, I think yes, because I think what 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 Chaim Ahed is has said, yeah. what he's alluded to, yeah, is that they are among us and have been among us for years. He said two things that are wild. He said they've been among us for years and actually have infiltrated into our human race already. So there may be people out there that have alien you DNA. Have to be absolutely kidding me. This is what Chaim said. How they remain in <laughs> how they remain in plain sight. You gotta be kidding me. No, Chaim, he said that, <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh my God! Every time I laugh like that, yeah, I fully get completely blacked out. I, I black out of flashes of blackout. This can't be healthy. No, I'm just eating so much fat with the keto, <laughs> and I go to laugh. I wheeze, and literally for like two, two, four seconds, it's blacked out. I get blacked out, and I fully get like queasy, and I come back too. You almost like go to alternate realities, and then you Holy come back. Holy shit, dude! So, so what he said? What he said is, is that. Number one, infiltrated among us. Number two, right now, present day, he said this dead serious to the camera, former head of, this, of the space program of the nation of Israel, Chem Ahead, said, right now, in 2020, right now, there is a base 20 miles below the surface of Mars with American astronauts and aliens right now doing experiments right now. What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah. This, this, game this is real. How many, is the nation, like if I look out my window and there'll be people just throwing Molotov cocktails <laughs> and running around, like, how is the nation receiving this right now? I mean, Joe Rogan's going nuts. He's, go, he's going nuts. <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't, I, I, but, but wait, wait, why is he, is he like, I don't care, I'm doing it. Is he getting in trouble for, is this confidential? We're about to find out. We're about to find is out. It, this guy is just whistleblowing? If you go down, P Pimpy, if you could scroll down a little bit, um, um, is, uh, is he is he right now b being picked up by like men in black suits because he just spilled the beans? He said there is an agreement. Look, there's an agreement between the U.S. government and the aliens. They signed a contract to do experiments. Eshed said cooperation agreements have been signed between species, including an underground base in the depths of Mars where there are American astronaut, American astronauts, and alien representatives. Representatives. Yes, and American astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. We're, we're being lied to. Yeah, we, we've yeah. launched people to, to. So we've been to Mars. We we have been to Mars. We, we have not we, been to Mars. The not rover, to the, the rovers there. Yeah, but the, we never. But thought we, have, we, we have a remote I control thought he, car up there. Elon Musk was going to Mars. I thought that was going to be the first well, one. Why are we twenty feet? Why are we twenty miles down in Mars? Why not just be like on a cul-de-sac also, somewhere? Also, could he not be an alien? Who do you think aliens could be? Right, he wait, could be this one. Guy, this guy. He, uh, wait, hold oh, on, hold on, pimp. He's not like a Randy Quaid type. Let me just clarify one thing quickly. <laughs> Homeless pimp did not just insinuate that Jews are aliens. <laughs> FYI, he did not insinuate that, even though it sounded like that. We are not saying Jews are aliens on this show. We are saying that potentially the head of the space program from Israel could be an alien. Donald Trump was aware. <laughs> Donald Trump is aware and had been on the verge of revealing. Oh, because. Maybe he wants to go out this month with a mic drop. Yeah. You imagine? Well, that's what they're saying. He was about to be like, you know. But what does that do? <sighs> Why would he take it upon Just himself to reveal it to us? What if we anger the pact that we have with the alien representatives? Well, that's why That's why it says President Trump was aware of the extraterrestrial's existence and had been on the verge of revealing information. But the aliens asked they not do it in order to prevent mass hysteria. So the aliens, the aliens asked? talk to Trump. So wait, so the aliens are also... They're on WhatsApp. Like, what's, like the aliens, <laughs> so they're, like we're communicating with them. I wonder if they... Are so ahead of us that they just use They're our language to us. In, no, but I think that I think what come on, what, this doesn't what, sound real. Sound, what one theory is is that infiltrated among us because they're shapeless, because they're just a brain, because they've evolved to not even need their bodies, and they're just so they're just shape. They've been able to take on like so they could see you in your room when you're alone in your house alone. They they could, or they've taken the shape of a you. I'm not. Q could be an alien. Are you come on, dude? So everything yeah. we know now is 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 questionable. That's that's why he's saying. That's why they've been saying like you you can't mass hysteria. What Pentagon is Pimp saying? Pentagon. The, the Pentagon confirms aliens are real. But and that just came and went. They did that right in the middle of coronavirus August, in the summer. Yeah, that's Pentagon. when they were like, just do it now, just do it now, yeah, because yeah. otherwise the people would have been just punching yeah. each other in the chops. Well, it's just New goes York to times. This is no New longer York. in the shadows. Pentagon's UFO unit will make some findings public. Whoa. The naval intelligence of the United States. Why wouldn't Trump just fire off a tweet, though? 
What about this? What about where they stood idly by and let people be roundly mocked, ridiculed, and called crazy for decades and decades and decades? Yeah. You were like, they probed my ass. <laughs> that that <laughs> probe, hey, babe. Ass probed. Yeah. He's PTSD out out the ass. Yes. You know? And, and yeah. this guy's telling everyone to listen, and everyone's like, this wackadoo. Yeah. And meanwhile, he got up the ass. No one listens Somebody's to him. Somebody's in an insane asylum right now right. for years. That's when they, wild. When they actually the truth. That's wild. Yeah, well. How much of the stuff that we've gleaned in popular culture and movies and fiction, uh, like, uh, you know, being p pulled up and probed and shape-shifting, do you think stems from leaks from what people really know? Or how much do you think we've just assumed and guessed and it, this could be everything that an alien is could be a 100% departure from every single version we've ever thought up in our minds. Sal, I am not, I'm being 100% honest with you right now. I would say the likelihood that most of the things we see in the movies are are based off real life from some top level person are so high it's incredible. I very, very, I do not think that the human being just made little green men, and things about aliens up from their own head. I believe that some of it is creative license, but uh, there's also some of it that was based off a high-ranking official spilling something to someone I in Hollywood. Honestly, I can't believe it took this long for someone to be like, I got to tell you something. Like, I'm going to break the secret. Yeah. Like, everyone was like, just kept it so tight. Even they said even Area 51 was like a hoax. It was bullshit. No. I wonder if crop circles are bullshit. Well, Area 51, what they say with the with the the conspiracy on that is that Area 51 does exist, but it only exists so people focus on Area 51 when the actual rea real alien stuff is uh, happening in another it was a place. Decoy. So they want Area 51. Go ahead, please storm Area Go 51. Storm Nothing's it. happening here. I understand. So, but but please look. They got the guards there and they got the signs. Right. Because right. you're like, oh, actually, it's happening at Area 53. We're idiots. Yeah, it's hap it happens at Area 52. What is that conversation like when, by the way before you are the president you're a you're a you're a layper you're a civilian mm. every minute before you are the president so every president they had to have the talk with what's that like someone comes in and like trump just walks in his first day of office they're like <clears throat> have a seat <laughs> close the door bob close the door <laughs> you know and they're yeah, just like yeah. donnie um mr president uh, yeah if I tell you something, like, yeah. is it like, how like, is it like, do me a favor, like, just, I'm going to tell you something right now. Yeah. Just do me a favor. Just give me a big, <laughs> big, big swear. <laughs> do you know what it honestly might be? I know that's just going to, uh, it's another thing that it's crazy and Chrissy conspiracies and it's crazy. I genuinely believe that they probably tell the president these secrets and say, if you spill them. We will kill your family. Like, if you spill them, you're going to, so, it's going to be so bad. Like, something's going to happen bad. That's wild. I though. really think, because I wouldn't even want that. Because God forbid, I don't know. I don't know. God forbid I talk in my sleep. I don't know. What the hell? Yeah. Speaking of your sleep, I want to get back to one more question. With the sleep apnea, yeah. man, two, two prong question. Yeah, yeah. Number one. Would they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very slow, deliberate double prong. Number one. Yes. With the sleep apnea, man, yes. do you feel. Do you feel, and I want you to answer both back to back. Do you feel, since you've had the sleep apnea mass, your sleeps are legit night and day better I because sleep we, apnea I mass? I think we might have even spoken about this on this podcast before a little well, bit. Well, sometimes we repeat. Yeah. Secondly, have you ever had the sleep apnea mask on? Yeah. And in the middle of the night, we've all been there sleeping with a woman. You have sex in the middle of the night. Have you ever had sex with the sleep apnea mask on? Sure. With the, so, with the, a woman. So I'll, 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 let me start off with the, with the first prong. Right. Uh, I can't live without the machine. Okay. Uh, if I do and I try to go to sleep, it'll be the most miserable night of my life followed by the most miserable day of my life. Okay. It works for me. It took a little getting used to it at, at first. Now I don't even think about that shit, which is good. It's just annoying that I have to lug it all around. Because you're almost never getting, tired. I ended up buying a, a lot of them. So I have one here. I have one in my suitcase, so I never have to pack it. You have stashed, like guns. Yeah, I didn't stash it away. But. And then number two, I have never, no, I have never had, there's only been, I think, let me think about this. I think there's only been two relationships in my life that I have, that I have been, that I have said, all right, you know, I'm going to put this on right in front of you. Right. Because it is a, sh now more, it's way more common. Right. You see it, I mean, half the people have it now. And it's right. like, it's way more like people, if you say it, they know what it is. They know what even what it looks like. Right. But when I got it for the first time, like 15 years ago, and right. I'm sure it was common then, but not to me. And I, and I. Which and one I, do you have? Do you have I, the one that goes up your nose? Like one of them looks like, like a, like a, like a punter's helmet. Yeah. And then the other one looks like you're on a ventilator. Yeah. So which one do you have? I, I have a, a moderate, a, 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 a modified ventilator one. 
Got it. It's it's like um it's it's up oh, birth control. No, that's, oh. <laughs> uh, that's meal number three. See, I'm supposed to be. <laughs> instead, I'll just drink tequila. Should we get the meal up here? No, we can get somebody to get the meal up no, here. No, it's okay. fine. It's fine. Yeah, this is crazy. This thing, but I, I found a new one. If you get them, yeah, I've been through so many that I actually have some really constructive. Yeah, I'll give you some suggestions on what to get because yeah. There's a lot of bullshit ones out there. Depends what you come for. There's some that cover your whole goddamn face. Right. Some just up your nose. Some just up your mouth. Right. Some right here. Like we've discussed, and we'll get. We've discussed that eventually on this show, we will eventually have a Patreon. On the Patreon, when we when we finally get there, if I get the sleep apnea mask too, would you be willing to take a selfie, me and you with the sleep apnea mask, put it up just for the Patreon? One million percent. Got it. That's just what you'll for the get. Patreon. And nobody will right click save as, and nobody will put that up online because no. there are Patreon Look, so patr- members. Patrons and are in a cirque. I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest with you. You know the history I need show we have. We've put up some of the most wild things on Patreon you could even imagine. It has never surfaced once because they actually that. do feel like well they actually are our family for the show. Right. So the people who eventually join this Patreon when we do it, it they really truly like it is a it is a sense They're of like trust. Your you are alien representative. Yes. They are tight lipped and no one's they, finding out. They know if they post it, we yeah. will kill their families. Right, right, right. That's right. what they know. Sal, as you know, it's extremely difficult for me to get erections. That's been something I've been it's opening. No secret. It's no secret. I walk around, I'm Chrissy Semis. I just I always have half a chub. I'm, yeah. I'm Chrissy half a chub. The reason why I have a pillow over my pants right now, I took a blue chew last night. I'm hard as a rock right now. Is that right? I, Sal? My pillow was for comfort. No, no. I'm literally hiding an erection that I've had for the first well, time in a couple of days. That's what because, happens with blue chew. Because guess what I went? I went to bluechew.com. That's yeah. B-L-U-E. C H E W dot com, bluechew.com. I put in the promo code, hey babe. Hey babe. I got it for free. All I had to do was pay five dollars for the shipping, which it's whoop, it's five dollars for shipping. It's the holidays. Five dollars. You know how many things you can get off the dollar money for that? Uh, I would say five. About. Yeah. You know, Blue Chew is made in the USA. It's prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line. Beautiful. It's even cheaper than a pharmacy. Right. Uh, they have, uh, and they prepare and ship it right to you in a discreet package. There's no awkwardness. That's what you happened to me. To, you don't have to leave the house. That's what happened to me. Nobody in my house knew at all, not even my own daughter, knew that the packages that she was giving to daddy yeah. were to give daddy a boner. Yeah, I like it that it says what it is right in the name. It's right going to be blue, and you're going to chew it, and that's all it is. And for the holidays, what's better than having a boner for the holiday season? There's not much. Again, it's B L U E Chew.com. You put in promo code Hey Babe, H E Y B A B E, Hey Babe, to try it free. And you're going to want to order now if you want it in time for the holidays. One time holidays. And I guarantee you this. I guarantee you this right now. Santa Claus himself has taken a Blue Chew. Fully expect him to get stuck in your chimney because you will have a boner from Blue Chews. If not, maybe don't leave him cookies. Maybe leave some Blue Chews. Or instead of chocolate chips, bake the cookie with a little Blue Chew in there. And then Santa leaves it very happy bluechew.com promo code hey babe you get it for free five dollars shipping stay hard happy holidays sal you know who i love who do you love lucy the girl from around the way no the nicotine alternative lucy lucy yes lucy hello it's a nicotine alternative that i found and that i've actually i have an aunt you know my aunt colleen she smokes a lot and i tried to get her to quit because i said listen it's 2020 i mean what are you doing aliens are out i mean there's a pandemic you got to stop smoking i got her on lucy the woman hasn't smoked in three weeks. Is that right? The nicotine alternative. She's chewing the gum. You got to do it now. We know too much about cigarettes, and they're not good for you. And here's the thing with gum. Normally, what do you got? Two flavors. You cinnamon, got, wintergreen. You got maybe. the cinnamon, wintergreen. Guess what? Lucy also has. You right. ready for this? Yeah. Pomegranate. Shows me they're innovating. I I told my aunt Eileen. I said pomegranate's good for the prostate. She said I'm a woman. I said, well, I have a low IQ. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. You know also that they have a lozenge in cherry ice flavor as well. You can suck on a Lucy. You could suck on it. Especially now during the winter months, what's better than a Lucy lozenge? It's the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple. You don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Listen, normally when someone named Lucy comes to my house, I've made an illegal transaction. This time, it's fine. It's legal. All you got to do is go to Lucy.co. That's Lucy.co and use the promo code HEYBABE. At checkout. That's what are you going to get? 5% off? 10%? 15%? Are you kidding me? I was being serious. You're going to get, it's 2020, you're getting 20% off. What? Including the gum and the lozenges. That's 
insane now. Yeah, hey, they're, babe. They're giving it away. The promo code is hey, babe, H-E-Y-B-A-B-E. The website is lucy.co. If you put the M in it, you're making a mistake. You're not going to get anything. It's lucy.co, promo code hey, babe. Also, I have to give this disclaimer, warning, seriously. The product contains nicotine derived from tobacco, and nicotine is an addictive chemical. That's what we but have we know to- what we're doing here. This is, this is, this is to, 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 to come off the cigarette. To come off this, and that's what it is. I'm going to try the gum myself as soon as I see it. I'm going to see Aunt Colleen for Christmas because I say, listen, I don't smoke necessarily, but I want to chew the gum just because it's flavorful and it's a nicotine alternative. And I always think that's a good thing. Go to Lucy.co, promo code Hey Babe. Hey Babe. And you make a good point. I'm going to go see my family for the holidays. I have a pe- few people that smoke there. I'll bring it up because I didn't have anything to argue with them about up till now. There it is. Yeah. Lucy.co, promo code Hey Babe. Yeah. So, so. no, I, I don't. Uh, yeah. So I've never had. Okay. I, I never had any real type of relation. I was thinking relation. about that on the drive over. Yeah. Well, you really? I'm gonna say, what if Sal had sex with the apnea mask? You on? make sure you get yourself a humidifier built in. Hundred percent. Which is kind of like standard part for the course now. When I when I when I came up. Yeah. When I was coming up. Yeah. Uh, we did not have humidifiers, and so you put that shit on, and then. Honestly, in like one hour, you felt like you were gonna die. Like you, you, you your trachea, esophagus, lips, yeah. gums, was like it was almost like you were in a sarcophagus. Yeah. Like you, because and then you just had to drink water and then go for another hour yeah. and put it on. But now with a humidifier, this is you know I'm sure everybody wants to me to talk about the, the humidifier. Hundred percent. Yeah, Twenty two million Americans suffer from sleep apnea. I would think a percentage of our listeners have it. Yeah. So for those of you who uh, who this is appropriate to, you're welcome. You're welks. It is what it is. It is what it is. What I know. It's it's, it's very interesting. It's. I mean, dude. How do I know you're not an alien? Can you prove it? It's a good point. I can't. Can I prove it? How would you prove it to me? How would I prove it to you? Right. How would you prove it? There are a healthy majority of people who, no matter what, will not get COVID. Could they be the aliens? The ones who have never gotten it? What about this? They're very hands-off. If they are superior to us in terms of intellect, emotion, technology, and what spirituality, everything, why do you think... Do you think they're just like, this is not our world to touch? Or do you think they have already, we just don't know it? Like, why would they, if they are a superior being and they see strife and famine and sickness and poverty and discord and things like that, you, you don't think anyone's up there being like, should we help them? Well, well, what Israel, what the Israeli Chaim said is that, is that they, the reason why they're here is to study the universe just like us. So they're peaceful and they're trying to find some of these same questions we have about the universe and disease and all that. They have too from their planet. So that's what that is. So it's not like they are so superior. I mean, obviously they have to be somewhat superior. They got to our planet. Yeah. But and from, we didn't, I, I, man, from I mean, what how he's far saying, back does this even go? Well, that, that was going to be my next question. When you, well, my next thing, when you say, how do you know if you're aliens? Uh, how do you? How do I know you're not an alien? I wonder if the people are are aliens, even though they're aliens. Wow, is that is that too wild? I mean, let me take that's another sip. That's wild. Of tequila. That's wild. I, I that's what I'm thinking. You know, we don't know. Yeah, I mean, what what technology was made by them? How mm-hmm. about this? How about this? It stands to reason because of the infiniteness of the universe that they don't know about shit. There's advanced species and cultures greater than them where they're like i wonder if there's anyone besides the 200 we know about and there's a million more a million more uh, you know uh, how about this is there a whole interconnected universe that's talking and we're the only ones left out of it <laughs> that's true well it's like when are we gonna let them know that shit's going down in, all across the, the universe right here? like it's the one galaxy of, is it one of those what's things. bigger a universe or a galaxy the universe. The, we the, are, no, the, right, the, the then, Milky Way and, galaxy is sure. of, and there's only and there's, there's actually a million universes, right? Have you ever seen the video of yes. when they of when they zoom yes. out of yes. how small Earth is yes. and how infinitely sometimes big our universe when I, is? Sometimes when I really get high, yeah, I put it on when you smoke in the yeah, TV. I watch it like five or six times. Yes. Yeah, there's, and there's, there's one where they explain to you how small we actually are. Yeah. But then there's another version of that. Where Millions. They stop. Milky Way Galaxy is one of billions of universes. Billions of universes. The end of the Milky Way Galaxy is, is how far? Hundreds of millions of light years? How big is the Milky Way? We, we mean a- absolutely nothing. Zero. We mean nothing. We are, the, we are smaller than a speck of dust. So, that, I mean, 
The Milky Way is the radius is fifty two thousand eight hundred fifty light years. So, How do we know that though? That even sounds like bullshit. There's How, no way to know. What tool? What tool do we have that's measuring that? I think about a this telescope? all. The, I think about this all the time. If I was a scientist, if I was a scientist. By the way, we're gonna get in the comments for this. People were furious when we didn't realize where maggots came from. Yeah, people. Now, now we're just shooting off at the mouth of our opinions <laughs> and these. Armchair alien experts gonna come in and be like, "You doofus! We know about light years because of the fucking C five yeah. tech." Okay, so how does NASA know what our galaxy looks like? One gets a rough idea of the shape of the Milky Way galaxy by just looking around a ragged, hazy band of light circles in the sky. That observation indicates that our Milky Way galaxy is a flattened disk of stars, with us located somewhere near the plane of the disk. Were it not a flattened disk, it would look different. I don't even know what they just said. I don't know what, and you what they're talking. If I was a scientist tasked with finding, trying to find out how big the galaxy was, I would just look at it, look at my computer for about four years and then just pull a number out of my ass. Just tell them. How are you going to fact check that? Just tell us something. Nobody knows anything. What's and the by the way, how many people total, cumulative, scientists are that advanced that they're in this conversation? There's what? How many people, billion people on Earth? I six? think it's eight billion. Eight or billion? Is there eight, eight billion? Could be six. Eight billion, yeah. Eight billion, right? So it was like seven at one point. I think now it's got to be eight. It's got to be eight, especially with quarantine. Everyone's having kids. Seven, seven point six. So we were both right. Yeah, yeah, and that was in 2018. So who knows? So who knows? Uh, yeah. But out of seven point five nine four billion people, which also, how accurate is that? Exactly. <laughs> but out of that, how many of those people is it in the thousands that are like? I am a scientist that is so smart and have dedicated my life's work to this so much that I am the authority that's telling you that the radius is 52,000 light years and all this other jazz and all this other... Think about that. How many people... We don't know any. Do you know any? The Nobody, only... no, no one I know knows anyone of that caliber. How many of them are on the planet? And if, if one dies, is it really taking a hit to what we know as far as knowledge? How are we recording this information? Who's yeah. it getting passed along to? Who are the people, the kids walking around right now, literally picking their own nose who are going to become the bearer and 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 and, and the people that pass on this information it's a excellent we're point. not doing it we're not what doing are we it. doing we're it's doing a hey podcast <laughs> i'm doing nothing i'm, I'm doing nothing. To keto i know this guy is telling i mean we need people like this we need to know who they are we need to lift them up we need to lift them up the only scientist i've ever met in my life ever is neil degrasse tyson yeah we did an episode with him on the history of his podcast and all neil degrasse tyson told me is that if jeff bezos laid all his money out in single dollar bills right now he'd had a, he'd had enough he would have enough money to stretch from los angeles to the moon and back around 12 times and at the end of those singles still have enough money left over to go from la to australia in singles. This is the guy from Amazon. This is what Neil deGrasse Tyson told me. When wow. I asked, yeah. So that's, so not for nothing, but Neil, you're one of these people that has some of this type of knowledge and you're pussyfooting around doing hey, babe. goose and algorithms about dollar bills and, and Bezos. Like yeah. you, he, he might've wasted a whole afternoon on that when he could have been looking up yeah. extra stuff about the universe. And then Giannis said to Neil, he said to him, cause Neil deGrasse Tyson started the episode by saying there is no Santa DeGrasse Claus. DeGrasse is a middle name? Neil deGrasse. Or is that a hyphenated last name? I think it's... An, I think... That's a good point. Is this... Is deGrasse a name? deGrasse, I think, is his middle name. Oh, a lower D-E with a capital G? Never... Oh, you almost never see a lower D-E. He's an astrophysicist, and one, 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 one day, half the day, he took being like, a dollar bill is about six inches long, times, uh, you know, $80 billion, blah, 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 and he took up a whole, like, it's a whole lunch break doing that calculation. But I like it. He's playful. He's great. I don't Neil know much man. about the man. He's a nice guy. He said, he said in the beginning of the episode that he was either going to uh, go to Harvard which he eventually did on a science scholarship or become a male stripper. Those were literally the That's two things. he said for he real. Was, he was is ripped. He, Pull he, up Neil deGrasse Tyson, shirtless teenager. Stop. Shredded stop. sound. Stop. Like you can, jacked football player. Is he like the equivalent of a, like a modern day, like, I mean, not a philosopher, but is he like an Albert Einstein of our day? No. He, Albert Einstein dropped when we were so primitive that the work he did. Like, how many Albert Einstein equivalents are there today? I would say Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, you, who passed you away. Think these people are so. These are only the few you could name. Well, you, well, you, gotta, you think there's plenty we don't know. Well, you got it. Well, there, there might be some. Is, you he, know. is he a is 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 an Albert Einstein a one in a billion person or a one in a million person? What is he? I'd say one in a billion, and you have to understand about the marketing. Einstein and Oppenheimer and all the, these were great scientists. Thomas Edison, though, 
was a guy, he was more of a businessman. Everyone credits Thomas Edison, but it was really Nikolai Tesla's ideas. Right. That's why Elon Musk was very specific. I want to name my company Tesla, Tesla to give him the recognition. Right. And Elon Musk is actually doing the work. There's, there's like now it's like Elon Musk is a modern day Einstein. Okay. Neil deGrasse Tyson is, is extremely intelligent, but I don't know that he's doing the work that an Elon, I mean, Elon Musk is going to go to Mars. Are creative geniuses born or made? What are the chances of being born a genius? Genius is born only, on average, what are the chances of happening? Thanks to your question, in general, there is a small chance of being 5%, considered which a Which sounds like a big genius. chance, 5%. 5%. Well, if that's true, 5% of eight of almost 8 billion. I mean, 5% of 8 billion, you're talking about millions and millions of geniuses. Yeah. Okay, a normal intelligence quotient ranges from 85 to 115, according to Stanford. Uh, only a uh, scale. Only approximately one percent of the people in the world have an IQ of 135 or over. Genius or near genius IQ is considered to start around 140 to 145. Less than one fourth of one percent falls into that category. I've never taken an IQ test. Me neither. I mean, no. I mean, I've done them, done them online. Can't be accurate. There's no way that's accurate. I'd like to get a. F I'd like to do on the show a true IQ test. You want to do it? I'd like to do it. Yeah. If anybody knows how we could do it, let us know. The, the IQ tests, they, they will test things that do not need to be studied for, right? They, they test more like logic. Can we get a sample question from an IQ test and let's just see if we can do it? Yeah. Because, yeah, sample IQ test questions, whatever, because I don't even know where to begin. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do. If it's state capitals, I know everyone. Yeah, but that can't be IQ because that doesn't me does it does an IQ That's memory. It's intelligence quotient. It's not like information that you have, right? The examples of of the IQ test are analogies, pattern driven, and then classification, visual, spatial, logical. Okay. How long does it how long does it take to do an IQ test? Want to do them and then compare it like want to do them one week if it's like a half hour yeah. and, and we'll just come back? Which I'm, are you nervous to find? It's almost like taking a COVID test. I'm I know, nervous. and I'm like how dumb am I? Cuz god forbid god forbid I'm a genius. God forbid. No, there's no way. No, I'm scared of what I would rate, right? What do you think? Oh, how about this? How about this, too? We 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 take we gamble on what we think we might rate. Right. I because I don't even know. I don't even I don't even know. Okay. I couldn't begin to guess where I would fall on that scale. Uh, yeah, I, I if I had to guess. I think I have a nice emotional I would, intelligence. I was gonna say I think we're we have to be at least average intelligence. Yeah, we have to be, right? We have to be at least average. I don't yeah. think that I'm above average. I would say I'm average. We didn't know where maggots came from. That's true. Yeah. Larvae. Yeah, larvae by flies, assholes. Yeah. All right, well, you're watching yeah, us. Thank you. You're yeah, watching I mean, us. I don't know, like, what. I mean, people still, I mean, every time I open up my, my Twitter, I mean, somebody's yelling at me about yeah, the freaking larvae. What do you want from me? I'm wearing Will Smith socks. He sent me. I have Will Smith's son tattooed on both of my thighs. Yes. Yeah. I have on I have I Jaden Smith. Tattooed on both of my thighs permanently for yeah. life. I have a, I have on two different socks right now because I took a blue chew this morning and had a boner. <laughs> the other sponsor. Uh, <laughs> That's why this is here right now. Use the promo code Hey Babe. Yeah, blue you, Chew. Whenever you tune in and there's a pillow here and here, blue chew struck again. <laughs> no, I I have. But you understand what I'm saying? Like like does that like I I. I you ask me about when I go to bed with the with the mask. Right. I also have a young a young boy. A young artist on my thigh, on my what? thighs. Yeah. Like, I have a 15-year-old black and white Jaden on the left, a full-color 21-year-old Jaden on the right. Right. Now, I really hope I don't get any more, and nothing against Jaden if you watch it, but, like, I, I um, <laughs> that's on my left thigh forever. The final season of the show, if, if, if. If you know the fine when 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 it is, confirmed, I mean, it's a great tattoo. Shout out to the I forget the needles. This is the guy who did it. When it is confirmed, when <laughs> it, it look at look at the title. Is I'm Sal Volcano <laughs> gay? <laughs> <laughs> well, Shout out, my God, that's a picture of Chris Jericho. Look at this, Chris Jericho. Wow, he's wearing a shirt. Yeah. Small world, alien. Chris Jericho, alien. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, am I gay? No, I'm not gay. Uh, I know that I. When I fool around sometimes, I like to be a little flamboyant. It's just, I don't know, it's something I picked up. It's fun. I mean, whether you get, I mean, Jaden yeah, Smith, well, handsome, guess, handsome boy. Jay, yeah, yeah. But then I got the one on the right. By the way, the one on the right I got for the movie, and I excuse me if I mentioned this before, but it's even bigger. It's in color. It's updated. Now it adds to because I have him on both thighs. Right. That came out in the movie. Not, I think I might have mentioned this to you. To this day, to this day, right. not one person, when it came out on the show, I could not I escape it. Everyone who saw me is like, take your pants down. Let me see your pants. <laughs> I got the other one. I was like, here we go again. To this day, eight, 
not a soul walking the face of this earth has mentioned to me about the other tattoo. Well, now and they will all, after this episode comes no, out. I mean, it is what it is, but I'll tell you another thing. Imagine dating somebody new. and Who doesn't know the show. And, and, yeah, and, does, and, and doesn't know the show. And then I have, you know, a, 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 a talented young, younger African-American adult male. <laughs> Uh, well, I think what you should do to complete the cycle is when it is confirmed that this is the last season of Practical Joke is if you lose a, a, a bet and you have you should get the adult version of Jaden and then that's it. Yeah, well, then you the, have three versions. I heard the idea thrown around to which I'm mortified at that I, I now have to keep up the pattern of every five years. <laughs> uh, and just keep getting them until you would know, you whatever. consider that? Uh, I mean, w what am I doing though? I don't understand. Like, why would like, I do no that? There's no TV show myself? joke has been over like, for just, years, <laughs> and you're like, hey, it's five years, guys. <laughs> rules are rules. Uh, the girl, like the person I was dating at the time, I got the first one was like, I mean, like, really? You're gonna like, come on? Like, I came home with it, yeah. and then they were just like, uh, you know, I, I got, I got to look at that. It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. You know? Yeah. Well. Cause, uh, like, when intimacy strikes, it can it can be weird. It can be it can be strange, but, but um, still not weirder than intimacy with the sleep apnea mask. That's true. Yeah. So, but and then I've heard the other thing is that I get the Jada uh, and and the and 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 the Willow and the Will, and I do a Smith Family Mount Rushmore. That'd be that'd be another. Where would you get that? If you if you ha if that it, it was what was decided, keep going around my thigh like it has to. You be, can only do the leg. Well, because I'm not going to get another Jaden to to be in the. So they got to tack on to this. <laughs> And I'm, How? Happy, I'm happy to do it. I heard, I know now that they know about it, and they're very, they were very pleasant and polite to us. And I, I heard that uh, Jaden actually told me they watched the show together as a family once in a while. This was a couple of years ago. I don't know. He, you know, he might not even, you know, do right that anymore. But like, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I have that. So it would be amazing. I just saw a little thing, and obviously it, it's it's fake. But if Jaden one day got a tattoo of you, <laughs> yeah. If he ever did that. But talking about IQs and talking about aliens looking down on us, I'm walking around. And I'm I'm putting a mask on to sleep. I got you know I got children tattooed on me. Like yeah. what is my IQ? Well, yeah, no, I understand. I understand. The thing is though, yeah, I, but but I think to have a really really like above average IQ, like genius level IQ, that because the universe is about balance, yeah. you give up something else. Usually those they yeah. don't have the greatest personalities, or right. they have some type of phobia because they're so smart, their brain's so hyperactive. Right. I'd rather be dumb. Like I am now, but enjoy life because I don't really know what can affect me. I'm just like I'm just you know looking well, around. With, with with that knowledge comes like you know you then you feel guilty. It's like are you going to use this knowledge for the greater good or not? Right. And then you got the weight of the world rested on your shoulders. My mother. The thing is with aliens is why my because my mother is so profoundly religious that if she if she listens and I don't know that she doesn't listen to things in in Hebrew or doesn't know what's going on with Israel. But if she heard Chema Sheds recent kind of thing about aliens being real, it would affect her in such a negative way because then that completely shatters her idea that she believes in that the earth was made in seven days and right. we're the only people and, you know, because then, then what is God? Because if the aliens are real, then what is God? Is God, the does he also rule them? Right. Because then that starts to, that's a big religious a uh, 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 conundrum right. that people are if under she, now. If she puts any stock into what Chem Ashed said, if she puts it to him, you know, yes. I don't know. Do oh yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, get that in. It's not. It's no way to live. It's and listen. No way to live. And the reason why the pillow's on the lap is because obviously, you know, I have a boner from Blue Chew. That's right. Um, sponsor uh, Code Hey Babe. You just chew it. You just chew it, and that's it. Code Hey Babe. Yeah. Um, and then you just chew it, and then you're on your way to a more fun you. What do aliens do to our history is an interesting thing because how do we know that aliens, what, did they just show up 20 years ago? Did they did they help win the Civil War? Did right. they help win are the they, Revolutionary War? What have War? they done? Where what have they done? Yeah, are they are they like an all-time assist leader and we yeah. don't even know it? Did they build the pyramids yeah. are as... They, are they Isaiah Thomas or John yeah. Stockton? Yeah, or John Stockton. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. They, they must have built those then. Or they, maybe they didn't. I don't know. Well, they, they didn't say, like... Well, they say the pyramids to this day... Can't be built with the precision with the modern machinery we have today. Cannot be built with the precision that they were built in two thousand years ago. Built with two thousand years ago. To this day, they can't. And also, the the stone was so thick; it's so thick that it could only have been cut with diamond studded tools. So either these slaves 
of the Egyptians who who they think built the pyramids were using diamond encrusted tools, I or they like got a, help from like the aliens. A pulley system or something. No, but they're saying to, to engrave the in the stone, yeah. you have to have a a, a sub a, a thing that's harder than the stone, and yeah. the only thing harder than the stone at that time Jared. was done. You have gotta to go to Jared. You have to go to Jared. You have to go to. And there, was no ja- there was no Jared. Okay, back then. To my knowledge, no. No, right? Those. When were those? Can you confirm that? When were those? When were those created? Those companies. <laughs> yeah. When? Yeah. When was Jared? Jared, our diamond company created. Was it before or after the pyramids? Let's just see. Real just quick. do just that see because we want to. Okay. Okay. So nineteen ten. Well, that was actually that was earlier than I thought it was. Yeah. But I it was, was going to be nineteen eighty-seven. It was after the pyramids. Right. 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 Okay. What yeah. about K? When did K start? Because yeah, see the pyramids now. There you go. The pyramids are twenty five fifty B C. So we're off by about forty four, forty five hundred years. So yeah. it wasn't Jared. Not terrible. No. Um. Um. Khufu is the tallest pyramid. FYI, if you well, guys let me ask you a question now. So it stands to reason that is there a? Do you believe there is a normal normalcy within the alien species in and of itself, or have they progressed to a point where we don't even understand what life becomes from them? Are they just a big computer program running up there? Like, are they? Are they? Do they have? Uh, do they have vices? Do they have joys? Do they have recreation? Do they have love? Do they have relationships? Do they have, you know, do they have terror? Do they, like what, what? Like, or are they now just like literally like just an operational thing? Like, you know, well, if, they're, yeah. if they're learning, if they're coming down here to learn, observe, then that must. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like all the said, aliens. Is, is, is there an alien that's like, oh my god, I can't stand to look at myself with my shirt off? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's an interesting question. And then question. an alien friend that's just like, don't even worry about it. You know what? Get you get your shoes on. Let's go to Earth because I'm right. gonna take you out for the day. I'm gonna take you out for the day. You're, you're, you're in a you're in a rut right now. Let's go down there right now. Let's just fly around. That's go in the White question. House. Say what's up to Trump. Like, is this is this a Disney World or is it like or is it like our aliens right now? Are the aliens being sent who are on our planet right now with Chaim Ashed? Are they like the Elon Musk and Stephen Hawkins of their world, or are they like some lower form of society yeah, that they just sent out here? Or are they like are they so smart that they, like even their screeches are coming down here? And, and like, like right. you know, like, 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 F, like they, like they have f- f- found a way to get through a wormhole or a black hole, and they could come here for the day, freaking day. They cut school, come here, go home. Right. Their parents don't even know I that cut they're school, gone. Went to Earth. Yeah, I went. To, I yeah. went to Earth, mom. Yeah. You uh, went to Earth when you alien, were a kid. An alien's going through a bad breakup. He's in a high position of power. Who say right. he doesn't make an emotional decision? Push a button and we explode. I don't know. No, but it, it is literally okay. And here's what I feel, and then we can move on from aliens if you want. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 we, I mean, I'm sure, enjoying we, we, it. We can move on, but I just don't know. Oh yeah, they, like I just don't get like what's about to go on. My question, like, but, but you c- think in our lifetime we're going to get to a point he, where more is revealed to the point where we're openly communicating? Sal, with them? here's what here's here, here's what I want you to to think about with history, and and this is what I've been thinking about for majority of history. For the majority of history, the things that we know right now that are common knowledge, the earth is round, there's outer space. We revolve around the sun. The sun doesn't it's revolve the last around couple us. Hundred years. It's only the last couple hundred years for the majority of recorded history, they believe things that we'd be like, "Can you believe when they thought right. dragons were real and we revolve and the Billions sun revolved around us?" And all that thing. Right. So this was only 300 years ago. The top level scientists, George Washington, his doctors believed when he got an infection that the best possible thing to do for him was to put leeches on him and suck his blood out. <laughs> That's, right. That's what they thought was a great idea and he died. Right. These were the top men and women of the day were making these decisions. So we are living, I believe, in a transitional time where... It is going to be common knowledge for our children. Get it in. No, no, get it no, in. No, no, get it in. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to ham my shed you. This is not a speed bump. Keep talking. Okay. What we 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 are living. We are living in a time where I genuinely believe our children. It will be so common knowledge that aliens are real that they will say, "Remember when our parents or grandparents thought that they weren't real?" That's wild. That's what I think That's the wild. period of history. Are you we're ready for in. that? Are you ready for that? I'm ready for. Uh, not only am I ready. Would for Would you it, let your daughter have an alien friend? Yes, I would let her date an alien right now. You would let her date an alien right now. Right now, because number one, I'm progressive, uh, right. you know, and I'm forward thinking. Yeah. Uh, number two, I do believe that there, w- well, our planet is dying, and we we'll, we'll, we will need to find some type of self serving planet, self sustaining planet. And I think the aliens are the one to take. I think I think it's going to be a race between the aliens and the Chinese who gets to the new self sufficient planet first. So right now, if you ask me, I would prefer 
She can date whomever she wants, but if possible, go alien or Chinese. Good, perfect. If she gets good in with an alien or a Chinese, you might be set. Because then we could get off the planet, and I could survive getting off the planet. Because right now, it's going to die. So are there... The, Total you think, recall. You, you the girl with three boobs is, by the way, the, the number one thing I masturbated to as an as a, as a yeah, adolescent. I remember, the number one thing. I remember seeing, uh, seeing it uh, for the first time, and I was delighted. And I remember that even to this day, I'm still delighted. Yeah, because, I mean, it's absolute... You're never ready yet. for it. No, it's third boobs. Yeah, you're never ready for it. And even yeah. when you see the, the movie again, you're always like, "Yeah, wow. It's, yeah. it's, it's intriguing. It's, yeah. It doesn't turn you off. No. Right? If a woman had three boobs, I would have no prop. That would be fine by me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, who is that, by the way? Now, look, is that a famous actress who has the three boobs? Is it, is it Pam Greer? No, oh, okay. no, no, no. Sorry. In in the movie Total Recall? Yes. Is it Pam Greer? The, well, I know who Pam Greer is. That, that's not Pam Greer. She's, Pam Greer is a, a, a black uh, actress I think from the is 70s. Black. Oh, maybe she's not. Okay. All right. Oh, my what God. Can you do? Is that, is that, is Doesn't that a, it look like Pam Greer? Oh, maybe it is. It does look yeah, like her a little bit. Yeah, what can you do? Bit. You're right. Uh, but is that so, her? No. No. Uh, I, no. Must not be. I. But, yeah, so so you think about... so You, th- you, you think that they have pets? Aliens? Yeah. Do they have pets? So... There's got to be a species on the planet other than them. Yeah, because how progressive are they? That's a good point. Are they racist? Do they do right. they have the same imperfections as humans have? Are they sexist? Right. You know? Do they segregate? Like, are they? Do they have their like? Is their world like? Do they have ethnicities and nationalities? Like, you know, right. what I mean? are they like? Oh, here come the right. You know, like you know, yeah. I don't even know. Like, are these are people from another land. Look at like yeah. you know, we don't. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, will, 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 will we know? I don't know what. I, T- I don't know, but I do know on this that. planet we're very we're very progressive to the point where even if you make an alien like I made an alien joke on Twitter today and I called them the Greens and people were <laughs> saying that's a racist and I should that's really insane. think about yeah and I said Come on. they said yeah and I said I said that if the aliens are real Joe Biden will put them in his cabinet <laughs> and to fear the Greens and 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 uh, and so so. I would say that's positive stuff, though, for our society, that that's how progressive we are, is we're saying aliens, which aren't even confirmed to be real, you can't be, you can't even make fun of them. You can't even make fun of them. Because they have a place, they have a safe space. I hope they have a sense of humor. I hope they, they have a sense They have to if they've been watching us. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, it says the, the lady who was uh, the actress from uh, with the three breasts from Total Recall wishes people would just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> like she imagine imagine that that life sentence. How many people do you yeah. do it? And she's like, you know, I'm a big break. It's great. There's even like special effects. I'm this unique char- character. I got three boobs. It's gonna be a memorable scene in the movie. And for forty years now, people yeah. are just calling her like three titty James. Yeah, three titty. People just walked up and go, "Are you the woman with three boobs from Total Recall?" And then go, yeah. <laughs> "How many times has she been?" In a relationship and gotten into it with someone, and they then they brought it up. Yeah, it's true. It's you true. Uh, Elon Musk could very well be an alien. Very, very possible. He looks like an alien. Let me ask you this: When aliens do come out as real, because I believe that it could happen. It could happen like in the next in months' time. It could be. Are they going to go on a talk show? Is an alien going to go on Kelly Ripa? Is an right. alien just going to go on Kelly Ripa yeah. and say? What's up? And come out and is do, they're doing a cookbook. Absolutely. And I've been on Kelly Ripa. You've been on Kelly Ripa? Yes, a few oh times. Oh, my God. I've been on Kelly Ripa a few times, actually. How'd I it actually go? have a, not actually, the time that I was on Kelly Ripa, there was okay. one time with, uh, I think, with Strahan, one time with Ryan Seacrest. There was one time with Chris Pratt was the with guest Chris host. Pratt? Yes, he was now, the was guest he, host. Wait, wait, and was this Chris Pratt? Uh, movie star Jacked Hunk Chris movie Pratt. Movie star Jacked Hunk Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is the it, best. It was when the Magnificent Seven was out. That, the remake of the Western movie. Oh yes, yes, with yes. Like um, uh, Morgan Freeman. Now is he because he because he's obviously muscular guy, leading man, tall or short. Uh, I, not I think he was not crazy tall, but maybe a little taller than I. Maybe about your height. Maybe. Yeah. I could be wrong, but yeah. I, I, from what I gleaned. But See, to me, that just that just felt like a shot at me because I thought that I was <laughs> tall. You are tall. You're well, like you just said Chris Pratt not really that tall. Well, he's not like uh, towering where it's like, well, that's a big he's guy. He's not 6'7". Like he's not like a Vince Vaughn. The reason why I bring it up is because for me, Conan. For, for, I guess for my own coping strategies, when I see a guy like a Chris Pratt who seems like he has it all, he's, he's jacked, he's ripped, he's, he's the lead of movies, I just say, well, maybe he's short and I'm taller than him and at least I have that. Yeah, but I understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what? He was a former like chunky guy, right? And I love him because he gives a good name for all of us, right? He just shows you like if I get a contract to be in Guardians of the Galaxy and I yeah. get and I and someone like lets me work out for a couple of years, I could maybe be like, well, him. no, no, Sal. Let, He's let me... also everyone reveres him as a sweetheart, and it's I believe a, it to be true. I, I'm going to say this loud and clear: if I ever 
get a lead role in a movie. Yeah. You won't be able to stop me. My family will be stop me. I'm immediately taking steroids. I will right. immediately inject HGH <laughs> into my body and testosterone. And you I will. Be, you there to. is no shot in hell. I'm not taking performance enhancing drugs. If I'm going to be the lead of a movie, that's just what it is. Yeah. And I think they all must. You think do that'll it. help with your acting chops too? Yeah, because like, is it all around? Is it like just a super, like a super drug? I think you it get might be jacked, and you might also have like more emotional. Chops. More emotional. Yeah. And yeah, and uh, yeah. I mean, look at how he gets ripped. Good guy. He gets ripped. I mean, I, so it. Positive. Okay, so Kelly so Ripa. He's coastal. First of all, bad did you news. know he's going to be on Kelly Ripa? I don't. I think they let us know. Yeah, because okay. I knew. Yes, yes, I did know because he was the guest host and uh, Morgan. No, not Morgan. Freaking Denzel Washington. It? Washington. Denzel Washington was in Magnificent Seven uh, with him, and um, he was going to be the first guest that day. Okay. And here's the bad news right off the bat. I don't remember in what context. I might have went to a wedding, but I never. I this might have been one of the last times in the last five, six years that I've even been hung over in my life. Right. Like I've maybe been hung over like two or three times in the last five. I, years. I've known you. I've known you very well for I'd say about five years. Hung out with you uh, uh, quite often. I would say maybe I've seen you drunk once or twice. Yeah. In five it, years, it doesn't happen a lot. You know, yeah. whatever. So anyway, I show up. You got you got to be there at like six a.m. And, and yeah. I was up for oh, a yeah. large portion of the night before, yeah. and I went in, and I was, you know that, you know the hungover when you will cry in someone's face you don't even know? Oh, yeah. I, I got there, they checked me in, I went to the security, like my hands were shaking, yeah. I was trying not to throw up, my mouth was dry, I was chugging water, and I was so shaking. It was that brutal. I, I was like, we got there, and they're like, all right, you go on around like, you know, 9.40, yeah. it was like 7.30. Yeah. And I'm like, is there a room in this building that is quiet and dark and i can go to and they brought me to a room and i went to sleep on like three chairs pushed together yeah and then someone came and got me like an hour and a half later right I, I, that's how did I you was, fall asleep did you actually i was out and i woke up and i still felt terrible like it didn't help in a, a smidge it didn't, it didn't help it didn't help yeah and i and i was like oh this is gonna be bad i was actually worried that i might throw up on right. camera right right very rarely do you see somebody drinking out of a, a water jug like that a thermostat what kind of what, what would you call that what would you call that? Um, a, a water fl a flask? A, a water a flask, bottle? a water flask. A very hydro flask. Hydro you very rarely see that live on a podcast, but there you yeah, go. I don't, but you know what it is? You should have did that on the Patreon. I'm That's what people pay for. I tried to drink more water, <laughs> and I had the... the, the, uh, the I'll drink one no, with I you. No, I don't even worry about it. I'll drink one with you. I bought this. I bought this part because what happened, it was in bed. I used to try to drink, and every night it was <laughs> spilling all over myself. So I bought this, and now the straw goes down to the bottom. Shout out, water. Shout out, Hamasha, I said. <laughs> there we go. The blue chew. I have such a boner that it hit the switch off. Promo so, code, hey babe. So, so here's <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. So, so, so I'm like, I gotta do something. I'm not gonna be able to sustain this interview. Right. So let me just. I need need something right now. So, I might have been still drunk. I think. Okay. And I said, you know, it'll be funny. I, I, I had. Is this you and the guys, or is this it's, just it's me, you? It's me and the guys. But this idea is only my own. And I was like, I'm gonna do this bit. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Okay. And for some reason, because because Denzel Washington was on, and they were talking about the Magnificent Seven. You want to talk about hunks of the century, Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt? Yeah, you, that's a score. Of, that's that you got lucky. It's unbelievable, hunks. right? I'm like this guy. I, yeah. the, the two, and even Cal, they, so I'm like, I'm so excited. Let me do something memorable. Yeah. So I had the idea. Let me go. Someone ran to this corner store for me and bought a pack of Hanes undershirts. Hanes white undershirts, like 100% cotton. Like Michael Jordan. Like Fruit of the Looms, yeah, like yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. And I got a black Sharpie, and I wrote The Magnificent Seven with a Sharpie on a Hanes T-shirt, and I put it on, and I went out in that shirt. Like I was, I was, I was, my, my joke was going to be like, I'm doing everything I can to plug this movie for you guys. And I misspelled Magnificent, and I misspelled Seven. On purpose. On purpose. Okay. Because I thought that would even be funnier. So I'm like, I'm going to walk out there in this shirt that says the Magnif Magnificent Seven, and, <laughs> and, and Chris Pratt's going to jump all over it, and we're going to have a, like something to talk about right off the top. Yeah. It'll be a bond between us. He's going to pick up. I'm lobbing him a softball. Yeah. It's a Hanes shirt with Black Sharpie, it says the Magnificent You seven. threw out a soul. You were willing to get Little League's elbow right then and there right to then. throw this pitch out for Chris Pratt said, to hit. He, it, we'll talk about Magnificent Seven. It'll yep. endear me to them. They'll yeah. talk about how I spelt it wrong. Maybe I admit it. Maybe I don't. It'll be fun. It'll make a nice clip for the internet. Now, now, let, okay. So, send it up. I love it. I love it with this building, too, because I have never seen this clip, but I'm genuinely excited. <laughs> I, did, well, what, this clip they, is short. This clip's going to be short. Did the guy say that Salas is a bad idea? 
No, they were like, uh, you know, no, do it. Like, it, it will be funny. Just like, do it. Got to do it. Yeah. So I spelled it oh, out in, in my. In, let, let me get the corner. In, 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 I spelled it out in my handwriting. I took off my outfit for the show. You know, usually you get a little more dressed up. Yeah. And I put on this undershirt. It's unbecoming. Okay. And as we're watching it. In the beginning, if you know them, if you know this show, even back to the days of Regis, they give away a vacation. They R.I.P. Give away Regis. R.I.P. God bless great, you. I great, love Regis, you. great Regis. Great Regis. Um, and they tell people, like, look under your seat. They used to tell them when I was growing up. They used to say, look under your seat, number 75. And then seat 75 would look under, and there was like a trip or whatever, and they would win. So they did a trivia with this woman at the top of the show, and she didn't answer the question right. It was like a softball question. She didn't answer right. She loses the trip. Do you remember what the question was? Any idea? It might be in the clip at the beginning of this clip. I okay. forget. And it was something that like a lot of people knew, I think. Yeah. And it was so disappointing that she got it wrong. It was like, yeah. And then Chris Pratt goes, the whole one's like, oh. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, but you know what? Go on the trip anyway. Give it to her. Give it to her. But what he like did Chris was going to pay for it. No. He just was like, I ah, give her the trip anyway. Like he told the show, like, who cares if she got it wrong? Yeah. What he didn't realize was when you're giving away prizes, it becomes state like a state thing. It becomes a, le a legal thing. So you can't give it away if the person lost. It's the same concept as game shows. So he said okay. that out loud, and then they immediately told him, no, 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 we can't do that. It goes against the law. Live on the air, this happened. Live. Yeah. And he goes, oh, oh, I can't do that. And he goes, oh, and he goes, I'm so sorry. And then everyone it was like really awkward. And then he goes, you know what? Uh, just go anyway. I'll pay for it. Beautiful. So everyone's like, oh my God. Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt. Yeah. Chris Pratt. And then Kelly was like, yeah, I'll, you know what? Honestly, it's, you know, it's our show together. I'll take 50. I'll split it with you. And then it's like, oh my God, she's yeah. still going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, you know, six grand or something like that. That's five beautiful. grand. Yeah. So then Denzel comes out. Right, and Denzel's like, "Hey, how you doing?" And they they all know each other, and he's in the movie with him. And then he goes, "I heard about what happened with the thing. I want to let you know, I'll go in with you guys." Three I'll go ways, and now. the police goes nuts. Yeah, my God, Denzel, they're gonna this this woman. You know, people are really nice. Yeah, you know, love wins. And uh, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I'm going out there. I know what I'm doing." I was hung over as shit, and I was the like, "The second they say, the second we sit down, genius." I, I say. I want to just preempt this interview. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to tell you right off the top, I'm not going in four ways for this lady's vacation. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be strong-armed into doing it. Yeah. And I thought it would be gangbusters. You know you know that like you know that clip on the internet when someone disses someone and it's all the guys being like, oh! Yeah, yeah. And the guy goes like right in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, you know that one where like oh, everyone's yeah. like, "Oh shit!" And the yeah. guy just like goes right. In front yeah, of I thought the crowd. Was it was gonna be like, like a deaf comedy jam. It's 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 nine a.m. It's a morning yeah. show. Nobody's nobody's really like le really killing it with jokes and everything. You know what I mean? It's very tough to I'm do. I'm like, that. let me go out there. Let yeah. me just like because everybody like just goes with the flow. I said, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna tell her no way. I'm paying for this shit. Right. I, so mind you, I come out. That's the first thing I say. Right. And. The audience is like, ha, ha, ha. and it, it immediately like ends. And then the Kelly's like, no, don't worry, she'll get it. And she kind of took it like half serious. Right. And it dies right then and there. Like the joke isn't even that good. And I thought it was gonna be great. And then I'm sitting there in a Hanes shirt with the misspelled name and everything. And I see him look at it. Like I see him look at it and I'm like looking at him. And then nobody ever brings it up. <laughs> <laughs> it is never mentioned. We don't talk about it. I, we do the interview. We get out. They don't. And I'm sitting there with a Hanes T-shirt with Sharpie marker. It says the Magnificent Seven on Savon, and no, and the, the 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 whole segment ends and I leave. So, and it's never brought up. So okay. So, dude, so okay, we gotta watch this clip. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, see. It. If you if you go to the beginning, you'll see them giving it away. Impractical jokers. So before we start, I'm not going four ways on the trip with the lady. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's gonna get her trip. Uh, by the way, wait, wait, rewind this, it a little bit. This rewind. is just the edited thing of, of like the clip. That's not the whole segment. But you see how quiet it got? Yeah, that's how quiet I, it I want to hear it again. I want to hear it again. Rewind it. Impractical jokers. So okay. before we start, I'm not going four ways on the trip with the lady. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's going to get her trip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, then I'm there like, dry mouth, don't throw up. And now I bombed on that one. Now they think this idiot, no one there is like, oh, we get it. It's sarcasm. Like they laughed a little bit, but I think they would—they would have been like, "That was funny," but he should have just done it. He should have like, just done it. Like that's what I yeah. do. So it's already a dud, and then I'm already like literally swaying, like, "Please don't vomit! Please don't vomit!" <laughs> and then they don't bring up my Haynes T-shirt. I went on <laughs> national television in an undershirt, and they just didn't bring it up. Did you feel horrible for the rest of the day because of that, dude? I I felt terrible. I felt I felt like an idiot, and I'm just like I I was trying to help. 
Like I was trying to, I was trying to throw them a lob. Like I just was, the, I thought they were going to tee off on my shirt. And like right after, we're like, were you like to the guys? You're like, was that bad? Was I bad? Was it yeah, like we one were of just crack it up because even when we were saying goodbye, I, I, I went to go. You know, you, you exchanged some pleasantries. Sure. And I and I tried. <laughs> look at the shirt, <laughs> Magnificent Savant. The Magnificent Savant. And you even puffed your chest out so the camera would yes, get a I did. good shot and of I it. I adjusted my shirt to call attention to it, and I saw Chris Pratt's eyes read it, and I saw him have a moment of. I mean, outright confusion. And, and I then mean, he's just like, I'm not even going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Did you actually write this yourself or did like a PA or my something? My handwriting. Wow. <laughs> not bad, by the way. Does anybody in the comments go down and say, wow, that bombed or what the hell is Sal doing? I scrolled. No one said a goddamn thing no about anything. No one said anything not even ever. A word. They didn't even say anything about my joke. There's 8,000 comments. They just talk about Chris Pratt and, and, and Denzel. Well, it's very easy. Not many people can... Outshot. When usually when Sal and the Jokers are on something, it's about them. I would say Chris Pratt and Denzel are two of the people oh, that may a, just no, be. Oh, I don't give a shit. No, they more me people in the, the comments. comments would talk to, talk about them. But they, I'm saying they didn't talk about the fact that I denied the trip and and had a and had a magnificent Savon shirt Did on. You have. I don't know if you have done this already. We should sell those shirts as merch. <laughs> I, that, is that the merch? It, is that the merch? It, it, That's the merch. If, 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 honestly, if I still have that shirt somewhere, we can get the exact, like my exact handwriting reprinted on, on a new shirt, and we could sell Magnificent Savant shirts. Beautiful. Yeah. I Now, have you been on Ripa since I have. then? Did you mention that? No. This time, you have was, to this mention time it was Ryan Seacrest, and so I didn't mention it. And I learned my right. lesson, by the way. What? I just came out, I smiled, and I and I and yeah, I, I, said, I, I talked Ryan. about like you know fruit cake or something, and I left. Whatever you have to do. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, there you go. The magnificent Savon bo Sal bombed on <laughs> Kelly Ripa. Aliens I can't are real. What say. No, I mean what we with, th with this podcast, we literally always have a laundry list of things to talk about, and we get to maybe one, usually zero of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. We're done, baby. All right, so we got to plug anything? Well, or? no, I mean, well, at Hey Babe on Instagram, uh, please follow us. Yeah. Um, YouTube.com slash No Press Network or search No Press Network on YouTube. Uh, we got Taste Buds on there with Sal and Joe DeRosa. You got Hey Babe with me and Sal. Um, and you can go to my website, ChrisDComedy.com. I got a bunch of live dates coming up, so check out your baby boy. Yeah, and uh, what else? I guess I'm at Sal Volcano. I, I, I started this new thing called Community. We could talk about it another time. It's an app where I have a phone number yes. that goes to my phone. So I wanted to talk about that because it's been a really unique weird I have it as experience. well. You got me into it. I have it. You have it? I have it, yeah. Let's talk about it on another episode. Yeah, well, yeah. But my, my, my number uh, for that, and show, which is that kind of what I want to plug? You can text Sal. 718-260-260. 6619 and I'll explain what the hell that is in another episode but that is a number that goes to my phone that I could actually text with you guys with and uh, we'll, we'll get into it another time Beautiful. I had some weird experiences with it but um, yeah so there you go and uh, what else the, the, the pod drops every Thursday for Hey Babe comes out every Thursday 11 a.m. Eastern time so hit the subscribe button on our YouTube No Pressure Network and what we're doing is it's especially it comes out everywhere you get podcasts audio wise and it's always going to come out immediately the full episode on YouTube we kind of just uh, we, we were deciding where to go with it yes and then we, we realized the best way to go would be to just put it out and make our Patreon something more exclusive right. and extra not just the episode on video and so we, we want everybody to see the video on YouTube Beautiful. share it Rate us, subscribe, comment, all those things that you yes. can for us. Follow please. us on Spotify, like it, tell yeah. your friends. Most importantly, tell your friends. Um, and this has been one, two, three. Hey, hey babe. babe. Hey, hey babe. babe.